My son um, had a severe speech delay, um, was not going to be able to go to kindergarten next year. With uh, Jessica's help, who's his teacher, um, he's been able to uh, surpass all of that and he is now going to kindergarten in September, which is very, very exciting for all of us. <laughs> In my son's class, um, it's been it's been wonderful. He was a, a lot further behind than the other kids, um, but the teacher really structured the class and would give him separate activities to help him catch up. And now he's on level with the rest of them. But at the same time, she didn't hold back any of the other kids. Um, if they were above and beyond, they they accommodate to each and every individual student. The class sizes are small, and so that allows them uh, to cater and do a lot of individual training, which is great at this age and unheard of in a lot of other schools. <laughs> My son, he's very um, shy, so it takes a lot to draw anything out of him. And I think if he were, if he were brought up at home instead of having an experience like he did at Georgetown Hill, he would be still much more reserved than he is now. But having the social skills brought out from Georgetown Hill has, has really, I think, helped him blossom. What made the difference at this school, and we looked at so many different preschools, what made the difference here is that Charlotte's um, personality style, her tentativeness was respected. It was seen as something to be valued, not something to be criticized. Because she felt so accepted, she was allowed to grow and shine and be herself. And in this past year especially, with Mrs. Cromwell and Miss Sandy, Charlotte was, was able to find her voice. She came in shy, she came in quiet and a little reticent, and she is leaving a true leader of her peers.